Hey folks, hello and welcome to Relaxed Mental. All right, we are continuing our little discussion about anger. Um, now we talked last time about why the health problems of, of being angry. And, but there's more to anger that I really want to address because people have a problem thinking that anger is a, an emotion that affects other people. And the sad part is, in reality, it doesn't affect anybody but the person who is angry. I can get mad and I can stomp around. Guess what? Everybody around me is not all of a sudden going to be, you know, sorry or, or whatever. They're not going to bend over backwards. They're going to look at that and go, that moron is throwing a hissy fit. Or, good God, check this out. And they whip out their phones and start, you know, they're, they're grabbing their phones and going, check this out. This is, oh, this is Facebook gold right here. Yeah. They're going to, People are going to, no matter how you throw a fit, and no matter how often you, you get angry and it, you feel that you have been wronged, the key to that whole, to everything is you feel, all right? You can feel however you want to feel. Doesn't matter. If you want to be angry, you've got the emotional uh, events that happen for being angry. If you want to take what has happened and just let it go, that is again your choice. Now a lot of people want to go, no, it's not, it's not my choice. I have no I'm angry because this person was, you know, inconsiderate. Well, that's your thought. You have an expectation of some an un, a, a illogical and unreasonable expectation that somebody should act just like you. Alright? Acting just like you would be really nice, except it also would be really boring. So, uh, assuming that because you feel that you should do, you know, hold the door open for somebody, and the person ahead of you didn't hold the door open for you and just let it go, getting angry about that's not going to fix the problem, all right? Making some snide comment and making sure that you try to infect that person with your anger is not going to fix the problem because there's a couple of things that could be happening. That person could be having um, could be having a, a whole world of problems on their shoulder. They could be wondering, worrying about their mom and their wife because they were both together in a car and they were in a car a car crash and they were both at the hospital. They're okay, but they're still in the hospital and he's thinking of how am I going to handle this? How I've got kids I've got to deal with and I've got to work tomorrow and how am I supposed to do this? And so he's stuck in his own head. His head does not involve you because he doesn't know you from Adam. So to think that he owes you the courtesy of holding your door open, uh, holding a door open so that you can go through there because you've got, you're making that one trip with the 87 bags. To be, to think that you uh, are that important in this guy's world is ludicrous. It's plain out, flat out dumb. You're no more important to that guy than he is to you, other than you gave him the power to make you mad. And that's what I want you to think about, because when you get angry, anybody who goes off and just, just blows their top for, because of something somebody said, what you're basically doing is, allowing them control your life because what is it they made me mad it's not that you have control of your body anymore or your mind or your actions it is because they you're pointing your finger at somebody else and you are taking all control all responsibility and going to that other person going here you're responsible for me now come on is that really fair you got somebody who's got the world on his shoulders right now and all of a sudden you're throwing a my response, my, my reactions are your responsibility now. Make sure I respond accordingly. Come on. That's, there's nothing, that, that's, that's about the epi closest epitome to, or closest example to, to, to selfishness that you could possibly come up with. To assume that somebody else has to be in, re responsible for your actions. They made you mad. They made you do this. They they got you angry. They, whatever. You're pointing the finger at somebody else. You're playing the victim. It's not your fault that you're angry. But it, 
it is your fault because you're the one who chose whether you actually actively recognize the fact that you got angry or you just out of or you just automatically just switched over to angry mode whichever way you chose you it is the fact is you chose it you may not have wanted that choice you know you may not want to face the ramifications of the fact that you just because someone accidentally walked past you you stamped over to somebody and popped them in the face because you did that now you've got an assault charge filed upon you and that was not your fault because you made somebody else made you mad except again that is completely your fault you are not the victim in any instance of where you get mad any instance of where there's emotion involved that is nothing more than your not taking the maturity to actually handle the emotion correctly so when you decide that you uh, something happens and you're going you know, and you're just you realize that you're fuming you're you know you're 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 turning green and your pants are getting ripped up the sides and you're ready to rip your shirt off and go stomping around stop yourself and ask why am i really angry for why am i angry and you might be actually really surprised to find out that you're because you're putting the blame on somebody else. Why did I choose to be angry because he didn't do that? Well, because I would I would hold the door open for him. Well, does he know that? No. You're wanting something that is that is not uh, not illogical. It's it's it doesn't make any sense. So take a breath, guys. Take just breathe and and, and relax a bit. And instead of getting all worked up and and pissed off because somebody's done pissed in your post toasties take the time to all right let's see what else we can do here how can we make this uh, how can I change this around so anyhow think about that for the day and we will talk to you uh, next time on uh, the relaxed mouse so y'all take care have a great day make it the best and we will talk to you later bye